Holy moly, we finally have some surprising news about the Valve Index 2. Yes, you heard that right, the next-gen Valve Index VR headset. If you're doubtful like me about whether the Valve Index 2 is coming or not, this video is for you. In this video, I'll be telling you with proof that Valve is working on a next-gen VR headset, its specs, release date, price, and much more. So let's dive into the video. The Valve Index launched over four years ago in 2019 and still remains one of the most advanced PC VR headsets. Of course, there have been plenty of new headsets since then, including cheaper options like the Quest 3. High-end VR has progressed more slowly in recent years, but that seems to be changing now. But there are also rumors that a Valve Index 2 could surface at some point. Here's everything we know so far about the Valve Index 2, based on current rumors, as well as what we'd like to see from it. First off, will there be a Valve Index 2? There's no official confirmation from Valve yet that they're working on a successor. However, a few rumors suggest they likely are. A South Korean radio certification for a Valve product labeled 1030 recently surfaced. This aligns with Valve's previous internal product codes like 1010 for the Steam Deck and 1007 for the original index. More interestingly, Steam data miner Brad Lynch found VR-related battery life strings in a recent Steam app update. This suggests Valve could be working on a standalone wireless VR headset rather than just an index follow-up. Would this new headset replace the index or exit alongside it as a more affordable mobile option? Hard to say for sure, but it does seem likely Valve has something in development. If the Valve Index 2 is coming, when could it be released? Earlier rumors in summer 2023 claimed it would launch that year, but that never happened. A mid-2024 launch now seems plausible if Valve plans to release it this year. But again, nothing is confirmed yet. As for potential specs and features, details remain slim. The code strings pointing to a battery could mean a completely tetherless, self-contained headset rather than one needing a PC connection. Recent Valve VR headset patents don't reveal much either. The designs look similar to the original Index. If Valve takes a more mobile focus, the Index 2 might have slightly more modest specs, like display resolution and field of view, compared to a flagship successor. But it could also go high-end to better compete with Apple's Vision Pro. Matching or exceeding the Quest 3's 2K resolution per eye seems reasonable either way. We'd also expect upgrades to things like tracking and controllers. Speaking of pricing, the Valve Index 2 cost will likely be on a higher end, especially if Valve targets advanced specs and portability in one device. The original index was $999 US dollars, with inflation and supply chain issues, plus Apple raising the ceiling for a premium headset. Don't be surprised if the Index 2 lands in the $1200 to $1600 range. That said, a self-contained wireless design suggests Valve wants more mainstream appeal. Like the $1500 Vive XR Elite or $500 Quest 3. In that case, maybe we'd see both a high-end index at $999 plus and a standalone model for less. Hard to predict accurately, but expect to pay a premium. Moving on to other potential upgrades, what would we like to see in the Valve Index 2? A lot of my wishlist revolves around modernizing some aging aspects of the original index. For example, eliminating the external base stations and going with onboard cameras for tracking. Most newer headsets have moved in this direction and have nearly caught up accuracy-wise. One less hardware hassle to deal with. I'd also love to see refinements to the Index controllers. Don't get me wrong, they're among the best with excellent finger sensing. However, the bulkiness and button layouts could be improved for more comfort and accessibility, rather than a radical redesign. Just some thoughtful slimming down and adjustments would go a long way. Finally, and most importantly, please let it be wireless. Tripping over cords is not fun, and other self-contained headsets have proven you don't need a tether for great performance. We don't have 100% confirmation yet, but signs point to Valve embracing cord-free freedom with Index 2. Freedom to easily move around a space untethered is incredibly freeing and makes long VR sessions way more practical and immersive. 
So in summary, while Valve hasn't officially announced anything yet, rumors suggest an index follow-up OR, possibly a complementary standalone headset, could be released as soon as mid-2024. If true, expect high-end specs and pricing, major tracking updates ditching base stations, refined controls, wireless operation, and other modernizations bringing Valve up to speed with rivals. Of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts and predictions. Do you think the Index 2 is coming soon? What features and upgrades would you want to see? Let's discuss this in the comments.